Hi everyone! It's time for my close up. Oh, good job. You ready to do this? I got it. Okay, ready? Hey guys! <laughs> Why are you so cute? Sorry, I'm totally messing this up. Hey guys, and welcome to an all about Ollie. Yeah. This is his 18 month update. I'm actually doing it in this room because I thought, how fun would it be for him to just like play behind me while we talk? Oh, what happened to your eye? Is that what? Is that why you've been complaining? That's a Okay. Oh, why can't I talk? So this guy is definitely a small, petite little guy. He is still in 12-month clothing, and he's sometimes in 18 months, depending on the clothes. And he sometimes can still fit in some of his nine-month jammies, which I think is just adorable. Um. Um. So he actually has his 18 month well visit um, in two days and so I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm doing this before that but the next week is going to be super crazy busy. So the weight and height that I have is just kind of unofficial. So I measured that he is 30 inches, two and a half feet tall. So like I said, he's short um, and he's also only 22.5 pounds. You're so little! You're just a little guy. So even though he is small and adorable, he is healthy, he is so cute, he is still a chunker. Dude, look at my cheeks. Look how kissable and pinchable they are. What do you think you're gonna do? You wanna go say hi? Come over here and you can say hi. This kid is extremely active. He is constantly running, walking, playing with his toys. He's sliding down a slide. He actually loves swimming. He's still in swim classes. We started him at about exactly six months old. So he's been in swim officially a year. He's definitely not afraid of the water, which can be kind of a good and bad thing. That's not on me. Don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, no, don't touch that either. No, stop touching. Come here. Come sit up here again. What were they saying? So yeah, it's definitely like a good and bad thing. I don't want him to be afraid of the water. I want him to be comfortable. I want him to, you know, want to swim and learn to swim. But it also can be that he's kind of daring. He's willing to just jump in water and go underwater and he's not afraid at all. He thinks he can swim completely. Don't turn off my light. Get over here. I got it. You got this? You're so silly. As far as his food and his eating and all that, we officially weaned about 14 months. He did, okay, he's playing with the plug. You're crazy, you're driving me nuts. So we officially weaned about 14 months and it was a very slow, very easy, gradual process. It went great. And after that, he's been on milk, like whole milk since then. And I try not to give him too much because he loves it. I swear he treats milk like his coffee in the morning. He cannot function, he cannot think straight until he's got his milk. He gets like a little sippy cup in the morning and then he gets a sippy cup at night and he loves it. Ooh, careful. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I don't want you to mess with the camera, okay? You can be over there, you just can't mess with the camera. You're talking back to me. No! Do you want me to get you some toys? Alright, we've got toys. Yeah, it's a monkey. Can you kiss? Okay. So as far as his eating, if you had asked me like a week ago how his eating was going, I would have probably been crying on this camera, been like, he won't eat anything! He has definitely been through some highs and some lows when it comes to food. He is just extremely picky. I feel like I've been very open with him and really wanting him to try things and I was actually kind of a stickler when it came to what he ate. Just making sure that he got a large variety of lots of veggies and fruits and stuff like that. It just since the very very beginning he has always been very particular about texture and taste and smell and all that. I really do believe that it is his personality. I don't think that it's anything that we've done. There may be some things that I do differently when it comes to my next baby. He's just, he's a very, very picky kid. Are you guys listening at all of what I'm saying? This kid is just adorable. <laughs> he's so silly. He actually... <laughs> but he actually has been really, really awesome now this week. He's been eating his chickens and his veggies and his fruits, and it's been really nice. About a week ago, I would tell you that he was a 
straight up vegetarian. He did not like any type of meat. Don't even try steak. But chicken, if it came into his mouth and he found out that he had eaten chicken, there would be full blown tears. Like I joked around about how he just was very, he does, he's a vegetarian and he really doesn't like killing animals. I think the truth is is that he just hates the texture, he hates the flavor of it. And when I did it to him, it was like I just completely broke his trust. And at that point, he would no longer eat any of his food. And so it was really stressful because I never wanted to upset him by giving him something that he may not like. He may end up going back to that, but at the moment, he's doing great. He's eating veggies, he's eating green smoothies, which is awesome, and he's also been eating chicken, which is awesome. Now, as far as discipline, this kid is 18 months, which means that he has been starting to really show his will. He definitely just shows his temper tantrums now he, when he's not happy. So unfortunately, although I'm not sure if it's unfortunately or not, but we have had to start disciplining. So hard as a mom to like have to now like get down and dirty with him. And um, there's been some major temper tantrums, but for now we mainly just do timeouts and trying to really explain to him that he cannot do that. The biggest thing that I hate is trying to discipline him when he doesn't understand what he did wrong. Until I've really come to the conclusion that he knows what he's doing is wrong, then I have to actually take action. It's been hard, I hate it, I hate disciplining him, but it's just part of being a parent, it's something you have to do. Discipline is good. Hey, come here. And he doesn't listen when I call him, so we're working on that right now. He definitely knows how to charm. After I tell him no, he just smiles like, I wasn't doing anything. It's so hard for me not to like, just smile back at him. No, no, no. Huh, mommy me. Something cool we did for his 18 month birthday was I actually received this in the mail after I did my belly casting with him. The company actually sent me this cute little frame to get his uh, handprint, his footprints, and then it actually has a picture in the middle. His hands and feet are a little too big, so some is cut off, but I think it's adorable and I love it. And I probably should have done it at like 12 months, but I think it is so cute and it was a fun little project. And I think you're supposed to put like a four by six picture in the middle, but we've actually been super crazy about Polaroids right now. Um, I actually took a Polaroid for him. He looked kind of grouchy, and so I used one that we took a few days ago. It's a really, really cute thing that I'm gonna keep for years and years, and I'm actually probably gonna hang it in his nursery. Yeah. Alright, guys, last but not least, but is this kid talking? Oliver has a full vocabulary in his own language. He has full conversations with us and with himself and with other people, but we do not understand very many words of his. He does say some English words. He says a lot of mommy and da mama, dada. He say mama and dada? He's he says, uh-oh. What else do you say, Ellie? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I feel like he probably says a lot of words, but I always just hear babble. And so sometimes when I listen back to a vlog, I'm like, oh my gosh, he just said this. He knows quite a few, few words. He can say Papa. He actually says Jackson a lot. Say Jackson. Jackson. Was that Jackson? Jackson? Jackson. That's a light. Jackson. Light. Good job. Can you show Jackson. them how old you are? How old are you? Good job. Jackson. Where's your nose? Where's your eyes? Oh, that's my nose. And he loves butterfly kisses. <laughs> so I love him so much. And I think he is ready for a brother or sister. And so hopefully that's soon. Yeah. And hopefully he starts speaking languages that we actually understand. Right now, I'm just, I'm so proud of Oliver. I feel like he is just developing so beautifully. He is so big and so cute, but yet so small and so adorable, and I just love him to death. It's just crazy that he's now 18 months old, walking, talking, and enjoying life and having fun, and it's just been great. Hope you guys enjoyed our All About Ollie. Give the video a thumbs up. Say thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if your child has their own language that I don't feel like my kid is as crazy as he acts. <laughs> You're act crazy. Say crazy, 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 crazy. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
fucking jumps. And as you can see, it is a sort of in like a kiss shape, or like a chocolate kiss. This is a bubble bar, and it is smells like lavender and rosemary. So that's the main thing. It's got a lot of essential oils of lavender. It's got rosemary in it. And it even has like a little lavender leaf right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's right there. So this will really make my bubble bath like super, super bubbly. It'll smell good.